hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you know my name is anna welcome to another episode of my cottage living challenge on today's episode we were spending the afternoon at this baby shower rami's baby shower she's a townie that belinda met while i was playing off camera and i saw that she was pregnant and i'm like oh why not have a baby shower <laughs> so we're here everybody is eating we have cecilia kang we have um scott's sister and we have rami's two daughters we have the mayor we have sarah let me show you okay so this is cecilia this is caitlin this is scott's sister this is rami she's having a boy and then this is her daughter and then this is her other daughter and then sarah is over here and then ren i don't know this is a townie this is another townie gianna the mayor um kim and i think oh and at last we and then we have a ruby if you don't know who ruby is she was flirting with um raul and she was also flirting with jeremiah but belinda only seen her flirt with raul so this is very interesting i'm messy because i didn't even mean to <laughs> sit her right here but i think we'll have a little chat because i know that jeremiah was talking to her but belinda has no idea ruby don't piss me off i mean you already ate you could do whatever you want do whatever you want let me have belinda drink and eat the meat platter looks like she's talking to the mayor what is everybody talking about listen to lavina and we need to buy a baby shower gift for rami because i forgot to do that and i don't even what are these options mm, we could get her one of these hopefully she likes it you better not be flirting with anybody hey i mean if you flirt with somebody that is none of my business um excuse me belinda where the hell are you going oh she's giving her the baby shower gift she's like here you go i hope you like it she like it yeah she did she did she did i love that is there any instructions oh ask babies do they hello why are you sitting where belinda was i don't know i don't like you girl i don't like you at all hello we were supposed to ask the babies do they all right rami is feeling very flirty we need to be careful over here let's talk to ruby deep thoughts let's just small let's get to know her really that's learned the following traits about ruby romantic well no shit well well who the fuck did you get this attract that you're not attracted to? It better not be Belinda because Belinda is not even interested in you, girl. Like, we're just having a chat. Maybe she don't want to get to know us. Maybe she knows. I mean, she definitely knows because I had a flirt with Jeremiah in front of her. So, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't like Belinda. She doesn't want to talk to Belinda. Rami... Can you please eat? Let me have her eat. You know what? This game pisses me off. It's not raining. It's literally sunny. Don't piss me off, Belinda. Don't piss me off, please. All right. I had everybody get out of their seats because I don't want them sitting down. Oh, let's talk to Cecilia. I know we haven't talked to... I thought we were friends with Cecilia already. Let's do a cheerful introduction. That's so weird. I could have sworn we stepped high. There's no way. I have so oh, Lord. <laughs> Belinda. She said we're an adding we're adding another to the roster. So Belinda's sentiment about Cecilia. She has a crush. And Cecilia also has a crush on belinda but you know i don't take belinda seriously this must mean that she wants to woohoo with her or something because this is insane but let's get to know her you know i just listened to my girl oh we could we could guess the the career let me see guess a new baby's future career that's so cute all right so belinda just found out that Cecilia has the non-comital trait. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I need to find a new word to rep 
replace that because I hate, I absolutely hate saying this word. So, okay, you guys have something in common. That's interesting. You guys maybe are in for just having a fun time and that's it. Nobody better, nobody flirt. I don't want nobody flirting without my permission. Oh, are you, Belinda, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? What is, what is going on here? Can you join the conversation? Is she feeling flirty? Let's talk to her. Let's have a deep conversation. Just like, hey, how you doing? You know, just to be noisy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I fucking knew it. How are you flirting with her? You know what? You know what? Belinda is such a hypocrite. Uninterest soulmate. Um, that's not your soulmate, babe. I need to figure out a way of her not getting jealous and crying. But like, this is stupid, girl. You have a roster. You, you're talking to four people. Like, don't be a hypocrite. Oh, she's done with it. Oh, no, she's mad. She's mad. Drifting love. Is she going to keep complaining? Oh, that's crazy. All right, so let's flirt with Cecilia. If we're moving like that, let, let's, let's be petty. Let's be petty. Let's compliment Cecilia's appearance. So you look so nice today. <laughs> Oh my god. What else? Should we guess less exchange and numbers? Oh my god. I cannot believe. I mean, they were maybe they were just friends, you know, with benefits, having fun, nothing serious. I should have them be friends with benefits because clearly neither of them want a serious relationship. So she's okay, so Belinda is really feeling very confident now. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and and the BB shower now. So I'm going to have Belinda ask Cecilia to go to the bar. And maybe, you know, she was like, yes, sure, let's go. And so we'll go to the bar instead of going home so early. And we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So we just got here and Jeremiah is here with this fuck ass outfit. Um, I'm guessing he just got out of work, but he's sad. And I mean, Belinda is right here. It's not like she can ignore him. <laughs> so let's have Belinda. No, I'm not going to flirt. Let's. Axe was wrong. Oh, she gave him a hug. He's sad. Why the fuck is he sad? Oh, are you crying? I'm not sure. Have a deep conversation with Jeremiah. Well, I need to know why you're sad. This is not sitting right with me. Oh, oh fuck. I cannot see why the hell he's sad. All right. Well, it better not be because you found another girl and she was flirting with another one. Because uh, let me know. Let me know. We'll stop wasting each other's time. All right. And this girl, she's still feeling flirty. Let's have Belinda order a drink. Let's order a drink for her and Cecilia. And we'll get some wine. Belinda looks so good. It's the fact that we were all in this baby shower and now they're... On the, on the road to fame. Is Cecilia coming? Yes, she is. Oh, Lord, can you please leave me alone? Jeremiah, like, let's have them sit out here. I'm just having Belinda mess around. Nothing serious. I don't think she's looking for a relationship at all. So from now on, I think I should have just... Hello? Oh, I hate this game bad. <laughs> Girl, can you just sit down? Just sit down, girl. Just sit down. She's right there. So from now on, I think I'll have Belinda just, you know, ask these people that she's meeting to just clarify that she doesn't want anything serious. This is just, you know, um, casual and see how they take it. If they don't want to be casual, then Belinda honestly will have to cut them off. Now, Belinda has a crush on Cecilia. I don't know how will that work. I already said that me. I'm just thinking she wants to woohoo with her. But if she keeps thinking about her and wants to get in a relationship with her or any of these sims, I'm going to let her. I don't care if it doesn't last. I'm going to let her. So let's just discuss interest. Let's see what she likes. Get to know her a little bit more. 
We already know that she's a non-committable simp, just like Belinda. Axford, are you on your period, Belinda? I don't think so. Oh, she's ambitious. Be flattering. I wish we could click on the table and order stuff from the bar. Because I don't want to go inside. Should we, should we flirt a little bit? I mean, Belinda would be the type. Let's flirt, let's flirt. Oh my god, the relationship bar is gone. Um, Cecilia, can you sit down? We're not watching TV. If you want to watch TV, then go home. The relationship bar with Sarah, it's gone. That is crazy. Did you flirt? The afterlife can be tough. Come tell the local bartender all about it and enjoy some discounted. It's ghost night. All right, I better know. I better not see no damn ghost in here, please. Don't ruin the vibe. Oh, give me talk. Of course, there's a ghost. Of course. Can we ask her already about what does she think relationship wise or not yet? Yes, let's ask opinion about exclusivity because if not, then we could have a we could have a good time. <laughs> we could have a good time. I much prefer exclusive relationships. Um, you and Belinda got it all wrong. By the way, I had Belinda switch the that preference because I just found it very stupid that she thinks that way. How you a non-committable sim? How you don't want to commit yet you prefer exclusive relationships? That does not make sense to me. So I changed it, and she now prefers non-exclusive re romantic relationships i wonder if she would be open to you know but i doubt it let's ask if she's if she's single we did not ask that before we started flirting with her feeling that okay okay she's single she's single all right these ghosts are getting me mad so let's just say goodbye to cecilia and go home um all right we're home and i definitely did not bring her alone so i don't know why she's here are you saying hi to the fucking mailbox like what are you doing um we need to sell the roses oh it looks like she likes animals all right so we have some changes in here i got her a bed all right so we hatched two eggs earlier today and we already have another one that we're waiting on so oh look at them did we name them buttercup and wing let's scatter a feed i don't know why she's here a matter of fact how how did you find belinda's house i mean this is a pretty small town so anyways i'm just going to have oh she's helping i'm going to have belinda tend the garden and the animals and then we'll see if cecilia is still here all right so we are done oh my god all the chickens are dying all of them sandy is getting on in years and fluff is too but anyways we got some milk and we got a uh, pumpkin spice milk so i'm just going to sell those right away and it looks like rami came over and cecilia is still here for some reason i have no idea why Maybe she wants some, you know. <laughs> I have no clue, but all right, let's let's make sure. Okay, Ollie has food. I think Rami is leaving already. Okay, girl, why are you here? Do you want some? Like, just let her know. <laughs> just let her know. Like, oh, she's feeling very flirty. Yeah, she must want some. Like, she followed her home. Literally. All right, girl. So, do you want to come inside or what? <laughs> oh, my God. Belinda is feeling all the feels right now. That is crazy. She's thinking about Sara while another woman is here. She's on her feelings. She's like, all right, I'm going to shower. Imagine, imagine if Sims were able to just hop in the shower with your Sim autonomously. <laughs> that would be so crazy all right let's buy a bottle of wine let's get some wine 
I hope the wine is not. Oh, okay. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. We got the money. I'm not Belinda in her towel. Oh, we need to clean the fridge. You know, Belinda is playing this move right now where she's in the damn towel trying to get Cecilia's attention. <laughs> Because, girl, why are you not wearing any clothing? And the fact that we don't have a TV or music or anything, it's giving... Well, I'm talking to Cecilia because I, I caught um, Sarah talking to another girl. And it looks like we gained a sentiment closer from happy memories. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. Animal enthusiast. Okay. So do they have a bad compatibility? I don't think they do. Oh my God, we could, oh, Belinda changed clothes immediately, but we could offer it to be friends with benefits. I'm definitely going to have her offer. Um, Belinda will be embarrassed if she says no, and I will be embarrassed for her. <gasps> Look, I'm sorry, but I'm just not that into you. Well, I know that's a lie. This game is so damn stupid because how you have a crush on her and you just say, I'm not that into you. All right, girl, then why the fuck you followed me home? Now I'm mad. And now I'm mad. Get the fuck out of Belinda. <laughs> Get the fuck out of Belinda's house. Like, literally. I wasted 180 simoleons on you buying this wine like get the fuck out all right i'm just going to have belinda uh, go to sleep all right so it's 7 30 and belinda just uh, woke up she's just doing the dishes not drink don't have wine that early like oh my god the animals are dirty lord like this is not easy at all but i will see you guys whenever she's done doing all this shit because it definitely takes a while okay i don't know where you're calling hey belinda it's me do you want to go out on a date girl all right we'll go out on a date but not here and we'll go later all right so belinda is done and it's 11 you see that took a while but cecilia called and she wants to go on, an, on a date and you know my girl belinda has no shame because she said yes, and they will be having lunch together at this restaurant. So I'm just going to have Belinda get ready and head over to the restaurant. All right, guys. So we are in the restaurant. <laughs> I'm going to have them get the bruschetta with poached eggs or both. And then for drinks, let's just... Ew, what the hell is this? let's get the let's get water maybe we'll have dessert if they bring the food 84 simoleons is not that bad rashida is here with her husband thomas oh my god these ugly ass townies oh my god make thank you we'll bring your order as soon as it's ready well you better what are they saying wait wait be compliment on she said we look pretty she said belinda looks pretty i know that's right i know that's right let's compliment her as well like you look nice too all right i see everybody eating good i want my food now like there's not even a lot of customers in here um hello what's going on oh okay Belinda is flirting. That's very normal. That makeup looks so bad on you, Cecilia. I'm so sorry. Affection? Confess attraction? No, we're not doing all that because she already said that she doesn't want to be friends with benefits. Then she calls that she wants to go out on a date. I really don't understand her at all. Bro, where's my food? Can you hurry up, Adam? I'm insulting everybody if I don't get my meal. I don't care. I'm going to skip over the time and see if they bring my food. Oh, yay. We got our food. Oh, finally. All right. Can you eat? Oh, yeah. She's going to. Nothing too interesting. Belinda is literally swallowing that food. <laughs> um, I'm not going to order the dessert. I was. Uh, girl, why are you not eating? Oh, okay. She's She's eating. She's eating. I'm just going to have them finish eating and then Belinda will head back home. 
Oh my God. Anton is calling. He wants to go out on a date. Um, I guess we'll be having back to back dates, but I have no idea where, where he will want to go. That's in town because part of this challenge is staying here. So we cannot go there. All right, guys. So we're home and I have no idea where to go with Anton because he did ask her on a date. Um, I think I'm going to schedule the um, fair for tomorrow. I'm going to schedule this for tomorrow, National Pie Day. And I'm just going to play throughout the rest of the day so we could go to the fair and participate. If anything interesting happens, I'll make sure to include it in the video. All right, guys, let me catch you up. So Jeremiah asked to come over and I said yes and they woohooed and they were flirting and now I can express suspicious about closeness with Ruby and so I think we're going to do that and while I was playing I had Belinda go um, to the plaza and we got a golden, not, not a golden, a mint midnight treat oh oh darling you're worrying over nothing we're just friends and it looks like they gained a sentiment festering girl oh he's too mad about this like well we're just asking why are you getting so offended even though i know them while you're flirting with that girl anyways we got a midnight treat and part of this challenge is that we have to get an evil or oh be insult why are you insulting us oh not you oh oh you guys are toxic he just and oh bro he just cursed her out and she was turned on by it and now he's turned on again you know what all right, you guys are toxic. I'm gonna let you be. Anyways, part of this challenge is that I need to get an evil or golden chicken. I don't know how the fuck do I do that. I think I give them this treat and that's what I'll do. I'll give one of these chickens. Oh, this is an elder. Um, but <laughs> oh, they are so toxic. Belinda Riz might be pregnant. Wait. Performing? Nah, she's not pregnant. Should we check? Oh, not her complimenting his woohoo technique. I feel like it's very unrealistic that after a day or two, the Sims are wondering if they're pregnant. Oh, we need to vacuum. This is getting out of hand. He's insulting us again. Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh, they are toxic. They are literally toxic. What the heck? Belinda can't believe how rude they were being to her. You too. Oh, by the way, you guys, Belinda answered a fun phone call and I chose the money, money, give me now because the other option, I already knew what was going to happen. And so it said very well. However, now that you've accepted, I must inform you that you will only get this money if you become married within seven days. Those are the terms. Good luck and congratulations on the next chapter in your life. It's the fact that this man just left after getting some, you know, <laughs> after getting some. She's feeling very confident. Quickie with a hottie. Clean and satisfied because she wooed with him in the shower. And she's pleasantly satisfied. You too. Belinda is insulted and it's just so aggravating. Married for money, Belinda accepted the offer of a giant inheritance over the phone. But now she has only seven days to get married to satisfy the hidden conditions of the reward. Why does this seem always to happen to her pregnancy potential oh it looks like things might have gotten a little wild and Belinda can help but wonder if there's a little bun in the oven now Belinda oh my gosh this is wild 
Matter of fact, after she's done doing that, I'm going to have her take a pregnancy test. Hopefully she's not pregnant. I haven't even checked. But she's supposed to be on birth control. All right, let's see. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. This is what you get for fucking around. But see, um, at least you know who the father is. <laughs> at least you know who the father is. That is crazy. Belinda is now on the first trimester and should schedule. Well, does she want the baby? A child? On, oh, she's happy about it. Well, that's her business, not mine. So we got all these sentiments. How offensive. And she's feeling hurt. And Jeremiah is bitter. And he's also smitten by Belinda. If this relationship doesn't scream toxic to you guys, <laughs> I don't know what the hell. Oh would scream toxic cecilia it's 11 o'clock what the fuck are you doing here anyways um belinda is sleeping i'm just you know skipping forward the time and we'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys so as you can see we have an evil chicken i decided to turn one of the young adult chickens into an evil chicken and so this is amelia we finally got <laughs> A new chicken. I wanted um, a golden chicken, but this will do. I'm still gonna aim for a golden chicken as well, but I'm happy that I got an evil chicken. And this is her. I've never had one of these in the game. And so we already established that Belinda is pregnant, and I forgot that one of Belinda's traits is cunning. These Sims know how to get what they want and will go to great lengths to get it. So take that as you will. I I'm pretty I think Belinda will tell Jeremiah, but at the same time she knows that if she wants this money, then she has to marry. And she has a love-hate relationship with Jeremiah right now. So I don't know, maybe she's thinking. You know, maybe I could settle down. Maybe this means something. You know, I'm pregnant. I want to have a baby. She is clearly happy about the pregnancy. There's nothing I could do to change that. I mean, I can, but I won't. <laughs> um, So she is happy about the pregnancy. She is going to keep the baby. And we have this situation where she has to or could marry for money. And honestly, she's thinking about it. You know, she's like, well... I'm pregnant, Jeremiah, you know, she has this little toxic relationship with Jeremiah and, you know, she's thinking about it. She might give it a go or not. We'll see how Jeremiah acts. We're not going to tell him about the pregnancy right now. Eventually, we will. But yeah, today is National Pie, pie Day and I'm going to have Belinda cook two pies. I want her to do, I want her to have options. So let's see what we could do. Oh, we cannot do shit. All right, we have to go grocery shopping. I'm thinking apple pie and blueberry pie. So we need to get blueberries or blueberry jam and apples, which is kind of funny because we have an apple tree. So we could get those right away. I'm going to have her clean out the fridge and I already placed an order for the blueberries and apple and apples. Hey, Belinda, I've been thinking about getting to know Le Levi, Clary. Well, go for it. That's none of my business. That is none of my business. Let me get rid of this because she cannot be drinking wine. She's pregnant. Oh, my God. I totally forgot about her ongoing ros roster. I mean, she can, she can ignore them for now. So she was supposed to go on a date. Oh. And I also forgot to show you guys this prop, the pumpkin. I'm definitely taking this to the fair. Let's take a selfie with it. 
I cannot believe she's pregnant. I mean, what the hell was she expecting? What the fuck I was expecting? I thought she was on birth control. All right. Oh, Belinda. This is so cute. This is so cute. I feel like Belinda is this type of person who's also noisy but doesn't want people getting on her business. So she's definitely keeping this pregnancy a secret for now. For now. Just for now. Play in trash. Are you fucking out of your mind? Me being delusional. I think she already has a belly. <laughs> let's unload and let's give him a tip. And we'll start baking right away. And that will take a little bit of time. And I'm going to skip through that. All right, guys. So here are the pies, the apple pie and blueberry pie. The fair already started. So I'm just going to have Belinda get ready and head to the fair right now all right guys so we're here in the fair and i'm just going to have but oh who is this is this ruby ruby i know you're lying with that small ass crop are you serious right now oh i think we got this let's submit entry we got this big ass pumpkin <laughs> confident competitor oh strawberry pie Oh, yeah, we're winning. We are definitely winning. If not, I'm going to get mad. Boy or girl, Belinda is excited thinking about the baby. Um, oh, my God, Belinda. Um, oh, my God, we could buy another mystery box. Um, the last one that I bought while I was playing off camera, we got a rainbow egg. Oh, shit, it's spoiled. Can we get another garden? No, we cannot. Let's open Oh, it's a cookbook. Great. I wasted $100 on what? Okay, we got them back. All right, we're going to submit our entry. We're going to do the apple pie. Be I mean, the blueberry pie because this dude already did an apple pie. This one is a strawberry pie and it looks good. I hope we win with the blueberry pie. Imagine she wins both. Let's view the other competition entries. Not her looking at hers. Oh, he's looking at our pie. Belinda's already feeling inspired from looking. Okay, can we look at the other ones? Oh, no, we can't. This is stupid. Why I only get to view one only? Everybody is here dancing and shit. I hate ugly townies, so I don't want to be around them. <laughs> Should we call Jeremiah? Gossip, girl, you're talking shit with the mayor. Girl enthusiast about gardening sure let her know that you like gardening and that you tried really really hard to livestocking belinda is a people person to grow that fucking pumpkin can we do anything about the fair no we can't that's boring i wish we had more interactions to talk about the fair but anyways, we should invite Jeremiah over here. I don't know. Let's just say that she's thinking about him, feeling a little silly and whatever. I mean, she's definitely thinking about all her hoes because, you know, she's pregnant now. And she's trying to, but she's trying to get that money. But she also loves that, you know, <laughs> Jer <laughs> Jeremiah. All right, let's. I don't know, meet him up right here. We better win. Like, come on now. Perfect. The quality is perfect. Normal. Normal. Yeah, we have to win. Oh my God, I need to get Jeremiah more outfits because... <laughs> oh, he's feeling tense. Oh, why the fuck are you feeling tense? Could we check? Wait, wait. Girl... Do not tell him about the pregnancy. Not now. Why is he tense? Oh, because he was fighting with with her. Could Oh, we could ask if he wants kids. You know, let's. Yeah, let's do that. I think he does. I mean, she should have asked this before she started fucking around with him. Let's ask. She's like, so, you know, just asking, do you want any kids? I like having children. Oh, Jeremiah, you're not doing this with us. You're really not. Because if you are yelling at us, then we 
are going to ask you what the fuck is your problem and we're gonna yell at you right back i really don't like you very much right now just feeling bitter over a few things that i'll go over or not eventually um okay i talk about marriage imagine <laughs> listen to jeremiah's complaint okay jeremiah discuss fear of commitment not her opening up to jeremiah talking about she's afraid of commitment girl i don't think he gives a single fuck maybe he do maybe he don't you both ain't shit like literally he's lying to you you're lying to him yeah ain't shit okay oh my gosh she's doing it again okay he understands apparently let's give him a, let's give him a little hug did we get to hug him hug let's yeah, let's hug him this is a toxic relationship they're having right here matter of fact let's give him a little kiss too kiss let's kiss and apologize i don't know why the fuck we're apologizing for but let's apologize <laughs> i know that's right i know that's right you better get that inheritance money <laughs> All right, you should cut. You should go over here and check out the. Matter of fact, I'm going to have them go near where Ruby is and see how he acts. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm gonna create the mess. I'm gonna create the mess. I mean, Belinda doesn't mind being a single mother at this point. All right, so we're here finally, and Ruby is here. Hello listen to jeremiah's question what is he asking though you see now they're deeply connected i don't get these two i really don't i do find it interesting that she was opening up to him about being scared of commitment it's like i like you but i'm a hoe <laughs> i'm afraid of commitment i don't know he knows that ruby is there but he's not talking to ruby I find it very interesting that Ruby is here and he's not talking to Ruby at all. Oh my god, Belinda's is feeling flirty. Oh, oh, I talked too soon. He's thinking about her. The festival will end in an hour. Well, I need Belinda to be here front row if he's going to flirt with Ruby. That fuck ass outfit. Don't piss me off. Okay, they were not flirting. All right, I'm going to skip over the time because I need this festival to end already. I wish we could eat, you know, like try the pies and we can't. That's funny. We should be able to do like a testing. Oh, she's pregnant. Like a test. Oh, and she's a teen? <gasps> oh no all right so the festival finished finch rick fair reward one fishy protein one participant pie contest participant only the pie you entered just didn't cut uh <gasps> oh my god we won first place for the oversized crop oh we did it we fucking did it oh she's eating the pie oh i wish we could have won both the first place oversized crop competition <gasps> yay <laughs> not jeremiah frowning away all right guys but i'm going to finish oh lord i'm going to finish off the episode right here i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and you should comment down below if you think belinda should keep the pregnancy a secret until she starts starts showing or she tells jeremiah right away but yeah guys thank you so much for watching do not forget to like and subscribe